Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of RMCS Admin 102. In today's video, I will show you how to deploy Let's Encrypt Certificate to uh, TrueNAS. It will work on either versions, either TrueNAS Core or TrueNAS Scale using the automation on uh, Upsyn. So one of the first requirement, you have to have a wildcard certificate. If you haven't have it set up on your system, you can follow one of my uh, tutorial. Uh, I show you exactly step by step how to um, set up a wildcard certificate on your um, option using ACM, ACME client and all the link gonna be included in the description and with that let's get started so when you log in into your option you would navigate to uh, services and ACME client and automations and then automations And then we're going to add the new automations. So the first one I'm going to call it deploy search to TrueNAS core. All right, I'm going to copy that one. And then on, under the run command, you will select uh, upload certificate to a TrueNAS core server. And next we will need the API key. And for the host name, it's going to be uh, truenas.sysadmin102.org And then uh, this is going to be HTTPS So now we're going to head over to uh, TrueNAS Core And one thing we need to make sure, we need to make sure that the web HTTP, um, redi uh, HTTPS redirect is enabled So you go to System, General and then make sure to check that uh, web interface HTTP to HTTPS redirects is enabled. And next, we're going to generate the API key. I'm going to add a new one. Call it deploy SSL from Opsyn. All right, I'm going to copy it. And there we go. And since I have both TrueNAS Core and TrueNAS Scale, I'm gonna add a second one. So when we do it, it's gonna issue a certificate to uh, upload a certificate to both server at the same time. Deploy SSL cert to TrueNAS. All right. And same thing, we're gonna select upload certificate to uh, TrueNAS Core server. Keep in mind, it's a true net core server, but it will work for both scale and core. And we're going to copy the host name for true net scale. And again, uh, we're going to change this to HTTPS. Under true net scale, we're going to go to system setting and general, then setting. Then make sure that you enable uh, web interface HTTP to HTTPS redirect. All right, and next we're gonna generate the API key. So under settings, API key, and we're gonna add a new one. Same thing, deploy SSL from Opsyn. And we're gonna copy the key, back to automation, put the key in there and save it all right and next you would go to uh, certificate under certificate you would select a uh, edit certificate and from there you go down to automations and here we're going to add in a uh, deploy ssl to TrueNAS core and we're going to add in a uh, deploy ssl search to TrueNAS scale and we're going to save it all right and we can select run automations and yes so there are two options you can either issue and renew our certificate and that would execute the automations and deploy the certificate as well however you don't have to you can just run the uh, automation and that will deploy the last uh, issue or renew certificate to uh, the true NAS and we can go to log files 
and on the system log you see it actually execute a deploy search to a true nest scale and deploy a search to the true nest core on the ACME log you can see it success so now we're going to go to uh, true nest alright now we're going to go to uh, system general so by default it's using the sales size certificate uh, for the first time you will have to change it to let encrypt certificate yourself but uh, for future automation it uh, automatically delete the old certificate and um, using the latest uh, certificate so this is only one time that you have to do it and we're going to restart web services same thing we're going to do that in uh, TrueNet scale all right and under system settings and under general and then setting you would change the certificate to let encrypt certificate and we're gonna save it and we're gonna restart web service as well all right let's go back to uh, true nest core and there it is you no longer see the explanation mark because uh, certificate it let encrypt certificate now it no longer a sales size certificate all right so sometimes you uh, it take a while for it to pull the new certificate uh, what you can do you can clear out the cookies or you can uh, go here actually yeah there you go clear cookie inside data or you can remove the exception and there we go now it loaded the latest certificate verify by uh, let encrypt and uh, that concluded today's video if you think the tutorial is helpful don't forget to subscribe like and share and don't forget to check out my blog it have a lot of uh, obscene tutorial in detail and it will help you with your setup thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye